Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about finding x and y intercepts of the polynomial functions. So first, the y-intercept of a polynomial function is the point where the function has an input value of 0. So kapag kukuha tayo ng y-intercept, ang gagawin lang natin, ilet natin yung x as equal to 0. So ibig sabihin, yung y-intercept, Ito yung point na isa sa mga madadaanan ng graph natin. The x-intercepts are the points where the output value is 0. A polynomial of degree n will have at most n. So, ibig sabihin, let's say the polynomial function, yung degree niya is 3. So, possible na makuha nating uh, x-intercept is at most 3 din. Pwedeng 3, pwedeng 2, or pwedeng isang x-intercept lang. So, depende. Okay. And then, uh, n minus 1 is the turning point. So, ito yung halimbawa, di, ang degree niya is 3, di ba? So, ibig sabihin yung point na uh, yung turning point ng graph, dalawa. So, dadaanan niya doon sa x-axis natin. Kapag nakuha natin yung x-intercept. Since ang focus natin sa video lesson na to ay kung paano lang kunin yung x and y intercept given the polynomial functions. Okay, first, find the intercepts of y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10. So, dito sa uh, example number 1, so, i-apply natin yung natutunan nyo ng first quarter, yung using the rational root theorem. So, pwede nyo itong gamitin uh, yung rational root theorem para makuha natin yung x-intercept. So, babalikan lang natin paano nga ulit uh, ina-apply yung rational root theorem. First, kunin natin yung uh, possible factors ng constant term natin. Okay, yung positive and negative numbers na factor nitong 10 natin. So, kunin natin yung constant term, yung factors ng constant term natin, and that is 10. So, anong pwede natin yung mga factors nito? Pwedeng 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 5, negative 5, and 10, negative 10. And then, kunin din natin yung uh, factors ng leading coefficient natin. So, yung leading coefficient natin dito, so, since ito yung leading term natin, kasi nakaayos na sila, naka-standard form. So, since ito yung leading term natin, so, yung leading coefficient natin is 1. So, ano yung possible factors ng 1? Yung positive and negative factors nito, that is 1 and negative 1. So, after makuha natin yung factors ng constant term and then yung leading coefficient natin, kunin natin ngayon yung uh, possible rational roots. So, paano kukunin yung possible ration, rational roots? So, itong ano natin, yung factors ng constant term, divide natin dito sa factors ng leading coefficient. So, isa-isahin natin. So, kapag dalawa na, so, isulat nyo na lang as 1. Like, for example, this one, 1 divide 1, so, lahat muna i-divide kay 1. So, ang makukuha natin, ito lahat, di ba? So, and then, lahat naman na ito, i-divide kay negative 1. So, ito pa rin yun. So, let, for example, 1 divide 1, so that is 1. Negative 1 divide 1, that is negative 1. 2 uh, divide 1, that is 2. Tapos kay negative naman, 1 divide negative 1, that is negative 1. Since meron na, so isa na lang, uh, isang beses nyo lang i-represent yung sagot. So, ganun ang gagawin. So, after makuha yung factors, kunin yung possible rational roots. So, para saan ito? Okay, uh, para saan itong listahan ng possible rational roots? So, itong mga to yung isa-substitute natin sa polynomial function natin. Okay, so pag sinubstitute, and then papalitan natin yung y is ng 0. Okay, kung palitan natin yung y ng 0. So again, isa-substitute natin ang mga ito dito sa polynomial function natin. At kung alin dito ang nag-equal sa 0, ibig sabihin, isa siya sa mga x-intercept nitong given natin na polynomial function. So simulan natin. Uh, let's say, start tayo kay positive 1. So, pag sinabtitute natin si positive 1 dito, okay, so 1 cubed minus 6 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 10, 
Okay, kapag sinimplify nyo yan, ang sagot ay 8. So, ang ang goal natin, kailangan mag-0, diba? So, kailangan 0 siya. Okay? So, dapat 0 ang sagot. So, ibig sabihin, yung 1 ay hindi, ah, hindi yan ang x-intercept. So, proceed tayo kay negative 1. So, kapag uh, sinaptitute natin si negative 1, so, negative 1 cube minus 6 times negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1 plus 10, that is equal to 0. So, since nag-equal si 0 tong negative 1, so ibig sabihin, si negative 1 ay isa sa mga x-intercept. By the way, ilan yung possible na x-intercept yung makukuha natin dito sa given? Since yung degree natin is 3, so at most 3 ang makukuha natin. Okay, pwedeng tatlong x-intercept, pwedeng dalawa, or pwedeng isa. Okay, so since meron na tayong isang negative 1, so ang um, pwede na lang ay makakuha pa tayo ng dalawa. Okay, so next tayo, proceed tayo kay positive 2. So pag sinaptitute natin si positive 2, that is 2 cubed minus 6 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 10, the answer is 0. So ibig sabihin si positive 2 ay yung 2 ay kasama sa x-intercept. So lalagyan natin ng box. Next tayo, proceed tayo. So, kay negative 2, so kapag sinaptitute natin si negative 2, so hindi ko na isa-isahin, uh, you can check using your calculator or you can compute manually, equals to negative 28. So, ibig sabihin si negative 2 ay hindi kasama. Proceed tayo kay 5. 5 cubed minus 6 times 5 squared plus 3 times 5 plus 10, the answer is 0. So, ibig sabihin si positive 5 ay kasama. Ngayon, class, so dito, titigil na tayo kay positive 5 kasi class, nakakuha na tayo ng tatlong 0 kasi yung possible na x-intercept na, na makukuha mo dito ay hanggang tatlo lang. So, ibig sabihin, si negative 5, 10, saka si negative 10, kapag sinaptitute natin yan, hindi yan mag equal sa 0. So, ito yung gamit ng rational root theorem para makuha yung x-intercept. Isa lang ito sa mga paraan na pwede yung gamitin. So, ngayon, the x-intercepts are so negative 1, positive 2, and positive 5. So, this means that the graph will pass through so negative 1, 0, 2, 0, and 5, 0. Okay? And then, uh, nakuha na natin yung x-intercept. Ngayon naman, yung y-intercept. So, paano natin kunin yung y-intercept? Ang gagawin lang natin, set x is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, papalitan lang natin yung variable x natin ng 0. So, y, that is our polynomial function. So, papalitan lang natin ang x natin ng 0. So, y is equal to 0 cube minus 6 times 0. So, ang shortcut niya in class, kapag nag-substitute na tayo dito ng 0, kung ano yung constant term, yun lagi ang sagot. So, therefore, y is equal to 10. And that is, the y-intercept is 10. This means that the graph will also pass through uh, sa point na 0, 10. Okay, kapag green up natin yung uh, ano na to, polynomial function, so, makikita natin ang graph natin ay dadaan sa negative 1, 0, 2, 0, 5, 0, and 0, 10. Okay? So, I hope na intindihan using the rational root theorem. Okay, proceed tayo sa example number 2. Find the intercepts of y is equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. So, dito naman gamit yung uh, factored form. So, bago itong video lesson na to, diniscuss o nakalagay doon yung different uh, uh, types ng special products at yung method kung paano nagpa-factor ng polynomials. So, pwede yung balikan yon para mag-guide kayo sa mga ganitong uh, example. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko na sa inyo yung factored form nitong given na polynomial function natin. And that is y is equal to x cubed minus 4x add, and that is x plus 1. So, ito na yung factored form nitong polynomial function natin. So, kung ayaw nyo nang uh, using the factoring, so, pwede nyo gamitin ulit yung rational root theorem na uh, tinuro ko kanina. 
Ang ano lang dun class, ma-hustle yun kapag ang constant term natin ay halimbawa na sa 20, 25. So parang masyadong madami yung isa-substitute natin. Pero mas safe yun kasi makikita mo talaga. Pero kapag sanay naman na kayo, you can use the factored form. So yung given polynomial function natin, ito yung factored form ni x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6. So... To find the x-intercept, papalitan daw natin ang y is equal to 0. And to solve for x, so equate lang natin itong tatlo na to sa 0. So first, x plus 1 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 1. Bakit? So lipat lang natin si 1 sa right side. So since positive, magbabago ng sign kay negative 1. x minus 2 equal to 0. So the answer is x is equal to 2 x minus 3 is equal to 0. The answer is x is equal to 3. Okay, so ito ngayon yung mga x-intercepts natin sa polynomial function na ito. So the x-intercepts are negative 1, 2, and 3. So this means that the graph will pass through negative 1, 0, 2, 0, and 3, 0. And to find the y-intercepts, set x is equal to 0. So papalitan lang natin ng... 0 yung x natin, yung variable x. And the answer is 6. So, ibig sabihin, the y-intercept is 6. This means that the graph will also pass through 0, 6. Another example, we have find the intercepts of y is equal to negative x to the 4th plus 16. Okay, so using factored form, so ano yung factored form nito? So dito pwede natin ah uh, ito pwede tong ano no difference of ah uh, two square okay yung apply natin yung difference of two square so ang mangyayari since meron tayong negative na kasama so ah uh, ano muna natin i factor natin by negative 1 so para maging x to the fourth minus 16 okay so ito pwede na natin apply yung sum and difference no kapag ano no, yung factored form nito ay sum and difference no dalawang square. Kasi ito, makukuha natin. Perfect squared yung 16 natin. So, that is x squared plus 4 and x squared minus 4. Okay? So, after this, anong mangyayari? So, you see, x squared plus 4, hindi na natin siya, wala nang possible na factored form to. Pero si x squared minus 4, pwede pa. Okay? Pwede pa natin ito kunin yung factored form nito. So, ano yun? That is, kung ka, anong ginawa natin dito, di ba, sum and difference. So, ganun din dito. So, the square root of 4 is 2, kaya x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, ito ngayon yung factored form ni negative x to the 4th plus 16. So, dito, isa-isahin natin. So, isiset natin yung y is equal to 0. And isa-isahin natin equate yung factored form. Kapag ito class, in-equate natin sa kayo 0. No? So, pag dinivide natin, so divide both side by negative 1 since may negative tayo. So, the answer is x squared plus 4. So, apply natin yung natutunan nyo. Ano yung isa sa mga natutunan natin sa solving quadratic um, equation? ba diba? Yung nagsusolve tayo. Isa sa by using... Anong tawag natin doon? ba diba, using the square root method, pwede natin apply yon. So, itong 4 malilipat sa right side. So, magiging negative 4. So, kapag uh, kinuha natin, no, inano natin yung in-squared natin both side, magkakaroon ng negative 4 inside the radical sign. At magkakaroon tayo ng imaginary. So, ibig sabihin, itong x plus 4, no, x squared plus 4 ay hindi natin makukuha yung value nito kasi magiging imaginary ang sagot. So, proceed tayo dito sa pangalawa. So, x plus 2 equal to 0. So, our x is equal to negative 2. So, again, dito class, sa example na to, yung degree ng polynomials natin is 4. So, possible na makukuha tayo ng apat na x-intercepts possible yon na apat basta at most 4 so pwedeng 4 or pababa so dito pa lang meron na tayong hindi pwede no hindi na pwede to hindi makuha natin yung x intercept dito kasi magi-imaginary yung sagot 
So, ang possible lang, itong dalawa lang. O, so, bakit 3? So, dapat ano yan? Positive 2. Okay? So, that is... So, pos negative 2 and positive 2 lang ang pwede natin kunin dyan. So, the x-intercepts are negative 2 and 2. This means that the graph will pass through negative 2, 0 and 2, 0. So, and the y-intercept, papalitan lang natin ng 0 yung x. So, y is equal to 16. Or, the y-intercept is 16. And that is, the gra uh, also the graph will also pass through 0, 16. Last example, find the intercepts of y is equal to 2x to the 4th plus 8x cubed plus 4x squared minus 8x minus 16. So, uh, sa mga ganitong, uh, ganitong example class, medyo mahaba na to, no? Pwede kayo mag-factored form or pwede kayo class gumamit ng, yung i-divide nyo muna using synthetic division tapos, uh, para bumaba ng bumaba hanggang maging trinomial na lang yung natira. Okay, so pababa siya ng pababa. Or pwede rin yung, uh, yung binigay ko sa inyo kanina, yung rational root theorem, pwede nyo rin i-apply yun. So, kasi mababa lang naman to 6 saka 2. So, pwede nyo i-apply yun. So, now, using factored form, so ibigay ko na yung factored form nito, and that is 2 times x plus 1, times x plus 1, times x minus 1, times x plus 3. So, since yung de uh, degree ng polynomials natin is 4, so possible na makakuha tayo ng apat na x-intercepts. So, tingnan natin. So, equate natin. So, set natin yung y muna sa equal to 0, and then equate yung lahat ng uh, yung factored form natin sa 0. So, x plus 1 is equal to negative 1. Since same naman tong dalawa, parehas yung dalawa, so yung x lang natin dito is negative 1. And then, x minus 1 is equal to 0, x is equal to positive 1. x plus 3 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 3. So therefore, tatlo lang yung x-intercepts natin. Kasi yung isa, kasi yung isa class, no, uh, multiplicity na siya ng, uh, ano kasi, dalawa sila, no? So, therefore, the x-intercepts are negative 1, 1, and negative 3. This means that the graph will pass through negative 1, 0, 1, 0, and negative 3, 0. So, ganun din to find y-intercept, papalitan lang natin yung x variable natin ng 0. So, y is equal to negative 6. Or, the y-intercept is negative 6. This means that the graph will also pass through 0 and negative 6. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.